Hello everyone. I hope that you are all doing well. This is me Sayyid Shujaatullah. Welcome to Achievers Academy. Today we'll be discussing about the Telangana budget 2022. Very important that like in 2-3 months we will also have within 2 months I guess we will also have the 2023 budget also. Why this is important to know? First of all listen to this carefully. Sir we are in 2023 why do we require to study the 2022 budget? Why because for the group 1 students you are having the budget analysis as a topic. Analysis in the sense is uh, what was given in the previous year, what is given in the this year, what are the initiatives in that year, what are the initiatives in this year. So you have to do the comparative one that is called as analysis here. Okay budget analysis. For group 2 student a new chapter has been added in the fifth unit because you know that the group 2 of the previous syllabus every section has four units. Now the chain syllabus has in every section five units. So Telangana economy the fifth unit talks about state budgets. So if you are aware of this fact that uh, in 2022 what was the budget and what is the budget in 2023 how much the agriculture allocation increase how much the allocation of irrigation increase how much the allocation with regard to for uh, Raitu Bandhu has increased. So if you know the increase decrease okay then you can better answer in your examination and uh, why this is all again important means whatever the topics that I am discussing now the same topics you have to make in notes of 2023 budget also. So because of these two reasons and four to five marks you can expect in the examination because group two 600 questions okay so in that somewhere around you will get around in either in the paper one or in the economy paper you will get the budget related four or five questions for sure so that's why it becomes very very important to the students to concentrate on this lecture for sure right and group two group one students you have to definitely when they ask you discuss about the budget then you have to present the data that is a very common thing and you have to write the body also introduction body and conclusion very common things so telangana state budget some cutouts are also there. I will present that. So, Mr. Harish Rao has presented the budget. Okay, Dyn dynamic man of Telangana, presented by Harish Rao in March 7, 2022. So, obviously, you can expect that in March 2023 another budget will come. Okay, he holds the ministries along with finance, health, medical, and family welfare. The budget he called the budget as tax free budget. Why? Because like uh, for example building approval self certification system have you heard in our static economy we have discussed about it right tsb pass right tsb pass under this a person who is having a area of around 40 yards okay less than 40 yards exactly precisely it is like below 80 for sure not exactly 40 but below 80 if anybody is having a area of that particular 80 or 40 whatever it is they don't have to take the permission for the government only they can just erect their building they can just erect their building they can just construct their house it means government is not collecting any tax the government is not collecting any fees that's why like this many 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 services are there where government is not taxing to the citizens that is the reason he called the budget as tax free budget okay now revenue receipts receipt budget of telangana means from what what sources from what what sources the telangana is getting the money from what are the sources of revenues to the telangana government already Chronologically, I have arranged them. Total revenue receipts are 1,93,000 crores. Okay. Total capital receipts 63,832 crores. Revenue receipts is this much. Capital receipts is this much. Clear? Yes. Under revenue receipts, tax revenues are 1,8,000 like 1,93,000 crore is there no total revenue receipts under this 1,8,000 is coming from tax 
Under this, 41,000 is coming from grant in aids given by the central government. Under this, 25,000 crores are coming from non-tax revenues. Under this, 18,000 crores are coming from central government. <coughs> State sharing central taxes. So, all of these is making this much. Okay, so if they ask you in the, in the examination, what are the revenue received means, this is your answer. If they ask you which one of the following is the major source of revenue received means this is your answer. If they ask you arrange the following revenue receipts in the chronological order of their contribution, this is your sequence. Okay, fine. Then capital receipts is there here. Under this capital receipts, 63,000 crores. Okay, I am just rounding in off and I am studying. Out of this 63,000 crores, Open market loans, which we have already discussed the concept in Indian economy, knowing that you know about this, means selling the government bonds and raising the money is called as open market operations. So out of the 63,000 crores, highest amount of capital receipts are coming from open market loans. Okay. Deposit transactions. Deposit transactions. This is also we have discussed in our conceptual classes. 4,000 crore. Under the 63,000 loans from government of India, 4,102 crores. So, if they ask you what are the capital, what is the capital, how much is the capital received of Telangana, I mean this much. Within the capital receipts, which one of the receipts fall, contribute highest, means this is. Arrange the following, means this is a sequence. Revenue receipts and capital receipts together, we will get around, total receipts are 2 lakh 56,000. 861 crores. 861 crores. And in revenue receipts, we are surplus. Because when you get revenue receipts, you will do revenue expenditure. Concept we have already learnt, budget. In capital receipt, we will do capital expenditure. In capital expenditure, remember this point, we are deficit. In revenue expenditure, we are better. Okay. So, 3,750 crore rupees revenue surplus we are mean receipts are more expenditures are less uh, to the tune of 3754 crores okay right i guess this is the picture is very clear to every one of you right when you see the now receipts is over let us go with expenditure <laughs> revenue expenditure revenue expenditure is 1,89,274 crores okay revenue receipts is how much 1 lakh receives how much? 1 lakh 93. Okay. Revenue receives how much? Receives how much? 1 lakh 93. Revenue expenditure how now? 1 lakh 89. 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. Almost 3 to 4 crores. Revenue surplus or not? Nothing but receives are 1 lakh 93. Expenditure is 1 lakh 89. It means revenue surplus we are. Right. And when we are doing the revenue expenditure, what is the major source of major expenditure we are doing? Interest payments are highest. 18,000 crore rupees are like almost 18,911 means 19,000 crore rupees are going in just interest payments. Means highest revenue expenditure is being done in which component means? interest payments remember this point very clearly properly i am saying you now you see here capital expenditure receipts are how much 63000 crores capital receipts capital expenditure is how much 29000 again i i might have told you that capital receipts already uh, we were in deficit basically general norm is in capital expenditure every state or country will be deficit only Okay, that is the reason in that logic I have told you, but not exactly it is related, relatable to Telangana. Telangana capital receipts are 63,000 crores and capital expenditure of Telangana is 829. So that is the reason <coughs> in capital expenditure also we are surplus, in revenue expenditure also we are surplus. In capital account and revenue account, both account we are surplus. Total receipts we have already seen. 2,56,000 crores total receipts total expenditures are 2,56 
okay you see here 2,56,861 so remember this point okay so here what happened here 61 here 58 so complete budget is presented as a surplus complete budget is presented as a surplus to us primary deficit is 52,000 crore okay sorry fiscal deficit is 52,000 crore primary deficit is 33,000 crore primary deficit is what 33,000 crore okay now taxation in chronological order if you see okay we have already learned this one just remember this part here tax revenues and duties of the state already we know that in the first slide state share in central taxes already we have learned here only state share in central taxes in the first slide 18,000 is there here also 18,000 so I am not discussing it my intention in this slide is only to tell you one thing state owned tax revenues are there no here state owned tax revenues are there in this in this highest is coming from taxes on sales and trade first means in taxes which one of the taxes tax revenues contributing highest if they ask you this question your answer will be what first your answer will be what first okay second is state excise third is what land revenue that is what land revenue right now revenue receipts in descending order revenue receipts means tax revenues non-tax revenues or any kind of interest received by the telangana government you might be aware of what are the various examples what are the various accounts or heads of revenue receipt means you know it very well considering that you know it very well state owned tax revenues are highest contributing to the revenue receipts followed by grant in aids followed by non-tax revenues followed by central share of central taxes okay so this sequence is already mentioned here also highest tax grants in aids non-tax state share in central taxes same to same i have written here there I have given in value, here I have given a direct one like qualitative. Revenue expenditure, highest expenditure is going in social services, followed by economic services and general services like collection of taxes, okay, then uh, uh, like uh, stationary, uh, AC repair, uh, mobile recharge of the officials, etc. That is called as what? Administrative expenses going and moving from one place to another place etc so on in revenue expenditure social services are contributing more than economic services followed by administrative expenses this is not required <coughs> now <sighs> wait for a second we'll come to this cutouts later now allocations are very very important my dear students make sure that you don't skip any of this i have properly given you okay so in 2023 budget what you have to do exactly you write down in this book okay and make a another table here column here this is this is you remember <laughs> here you write 2022 while you are taking down from the lecture 2022 you write another column you make 2023 so what is my heading here what is a new value in march 2023 heading value heading value so i have given you all the components okay so that in the next budget it will be easy for you to just what take a note of what are the headings and what actually you have to cover so this is how you have to study your indian budget also make sure that in indian budget also you write like this okay so agriculture and allied activities 10.5 percent of total budget okay total budget in total budget 10.5 percent of total outlay was given for agriculture agriculture actually got 24,000. allied sector has got 20 uh, sorry 
2769 crore allied this much agriculture core agriculture this much welfare of stsc bc minorities 31000 crores social welfare nutrition 18000 crores education sports art and culture 16000 health and family welfare 10000 irrigation flood control 10000 energy 12000 so in agriculture you can understand irrigation will also come but you should as a student you should know the overall expenditure and component expenditure also so agriculture this much is given but how much horticulture how much livestock how much irrigation that also you have to study separately okay then uh, energy this much rural development 8000 crores roads and bridges 7000 crores home department 9000 crores okay mana uru mana badi 7000 crores infrastructure program no yes Dalit Bandhu 17,000 crores were given, Raitu Bandhu 14,000 crores were given, debt relief to the farmers up to 4,000 uh, crores were given, Astra pension scheme 9,900 crores are given, assistance to local bodies like primary, Panchayat Raj institutions, contaminant boards, housing boards, okay, municipalities and corporations, okay, assistance to local bodies for primary education 4,800 crores, okay, say for secondary education 4,400 crores. Health mission 822 crores, 822 crores. Transmission Corporation, Transco of Telangana 7665 crores. Manerega scheme 1460 crores. Okay, projected the grants from the central government 41,000 crores. Forest College in Mulugu was given 100 crores. First universe, uh, Women University 100 crores. Palle Pragati was given 3330 crores. Patana Pragati was given 1394 crore. Kaleshwaram Tourism Circuit was given 55, uh, 1500 crores. Raitu Bhima 1466 crores. Okay. Clear? Right. Now, let us see some cutouts which are important for the examination point of view. Right. <coughs> The details of this already we have discussed in the class. That's why I am not going into that. What is important? We are seeing it. Okay. See, manufacturing and construction recorded growth rate of 21.5% in Telangana. While service sector put up a growth rate of 18.3% given in the Hindu newspaper cutout I have mentioned here. Okay. Agriculture sector has contributed over 20% to the GSDP. And total outlay we have already seen 24,254 crores. 24,254 crores. Here also we have written what? 24,254 crores. Here also same we have written. <coughs> Fine. 254 crores. Per capita income we have discussed. Allocation for irrigation 22,000 crores. 3,330 crore for Palle Pragati. Okay, 1,394 crore for Patana Pragati. Mana Uru we have seen. This is important. Per capita expenditure on healthcare. Means Telangana government per person on an average how much expenditure is done on health. Per person on an average how much expenditure is done on Telangana citizen by Telangana government. So 1,698 rupees is Telangana government or is spending on each one of us. Okay. The total cultivated area in Telangana, it was around 1.13 crore in 2014, increased to 2.9 crore in 2020-2021. So, the cultivated area has doubled from the state from the time of state formation till today, very important data. Okay, then you can see irrigation facility increased to 85.89 lakh acres by 2020. Okay. 2014 our irrigation facility was only 20 lakh crore 2014 irrigation facility was only 20 lakh crore because of mission kakatiya the number of uh, acres have increased to what 85 20 85 you can see almost 20 for the 80 four times the irrigation potential has doubled since the time of state formation oil palm cultivation 1000 crores were allocated okay for Mission Kakatiya, 5,350 crore were given. Okay. For 2 BHK houses, 12,000 crore rupees was allocated. Every 2 BHK house is uh, costing 3 lakh rupees to the government. <coughs> and Astra pension scheme, okay, 
the the person who should be eligible for the asa uh, pension scheme on the basis of age decreased from 65 to 57 years now the people who are in the 57 years also who have passed 57 years they are also applicable to the asra pension scheme okay now you can see on the well being now the scheme expenditure of telangana 5743 crores scheme expenditure establishment expenditure is 4968 crores means on various schemes of the health government is expend doing expenditure of 7433 crore but for establishment like tims okay government medical colleges etc health institution basti dawakhanas etc for establishment expenditure 4968 crores are given now you can see the allocation of health 2020 to 2021 health sector has given 6000 crore 2021 to 2022 6295 2022 to 2023 double 6000 became what 11237 crore so you can just expect that when you are doing the preparation make sure that which is double or not they can ask you which one of the following sector has seen uh, uh, which one of the following sector has seen double growth of expenditure in the recent budget double growth means uh, twice 2021 to 22 health expenditure was only 6000 but 22 to 23 health expenditure is 11000 almost double okay then government of telangana is spending around 308 crore okay in national program for prevention and control of cancer and diabetes how many how much allocation is given to national program for the prevention and control of diabetes like that question will come okay 308 crores is given okay now you can see that total budget in 2020 to 2021 the red color one this is 2020 to 2021 1.8 lakh crore 21 to 2022 the blue color one it is almost around 2.3 lakh crore the orange one 2022 to 2023 the total budget is around 2.56 lakh crore please remember this point so 1.8 became 2.3 2.3 became 2.6 so there is a steady increase in total budget expenditure like that you remember okay <laughs> now with regard to irrigation also you see a very good jump you will see here also okay year wise allocation to irrigation in 2018 to 19, 9,000 crore rupees were given to irrigation. 19 to 20, 10,000. 20 to 21, 11,000. 21 to 22, 16,000. 22 to 23, 22,000. Means there is a steady increase in the irrigation expenditure from 18 to 2022. That is what you have to remember. 18,500 crores were given on Palamuru. Ranga Reddy Lift Irrigation Scheme. Okay. Palamuru Lift Irrigation Scheme is going to irrigate around 12.3 lakh acres and will benefit Mahbub Nagar Ranga Reddy Nalgonda of Erstwile districts. Okay. And for flood control, 3,825 3, crores are spent on check dams. Check dams are basically constructed to control what flood? Balancing reservoirs. Right. On Dindi Lift Irrigation Scheme, 6,190 crore was given. Okay. And Dindi Lift Irrigation Scheme will irrigate around 3.4 lakh. Okay. In irrigation allocation is up by 34%. Very, very important data. Don't forget it. How much increase of irrigation expenditure took place? 34%. And here you see again, Sangameshwara and Basaveshwara lift irrigation scheme for which foundation stones were laid recently by the Telangana government. These two particular lift irrigation scheme are in the erstwhile Medak district and with the help of these two lift irrigation schemes, with the help of these two lift irrigation schemes, government can able to irrigate more 3.9 lakh acres. Vardha barrage is being proposed in the place of a barrage at Tummidi Hatti. 
these are the cutouts of various economic various newspapers okay very very important these are not discussed in the economic budget etc by the minister uh, of uh, finance when he was delivering the speech speech it was analysis by the various newspaper and the cutouts we have got so that box and revenue expenditure revenue receipts etc all that you have to remember fiscal deficit primary deficit we are having after see when we see the complete budget now you will not see any kind of deficit but off budget borrowings are also there by the government that is the reason we will get the fiscal deficit you might be thinking that sir as i have told fiscal like uh, deficit is budget is surplus then why we are saying fiscal deficit the, the the another way of deficit financing is off budget borrowings so when we take that off budget borrowings we are in deficit but when you see in a uh, like revenue uh, like during the budget presentation it it came to be surplus so make sure that this all along this charts and the box and the budget receipts and expend revenue receipts revenue expenditure capital receipts capital expenditure the allocation box and the cutouts and who presented all these are very important for the examination and like this only you have to prepare for 2023 budget which may be presented in march and passed in april okay thanks a lot for hearing to me have a nice day ahead bye bye take care